Ruben, Ruben, Ruben. Okay, we're back. <clears throat> yep. Welcome to the Santos National Football Stadium. Where the rugby league season starts with the Hunters. Kicking off round number one in the Host Plus Queensland Cup. Going up against the might of the winning Manly Seagulls. It's been an interesting uh, trial matches. Interesting with uh, the results from the trial matches um, throughout the intro of uh, this year. As you can see, there's a, there's a good turnout of the crowd uh, here at the Santos National Football Stadium in Port Mosby. Uh, very good afternoon, Terry. Hey, good afternoon, Leon, and a very good afternoon to viewers right across the length and breadth of this beautiful country, PNG, on this beautiful Saturday afternoon here at uh, the home of rugby league in PNG, the Santos National Football Stadium. And as Leon has briefly mentioned, yes, it's kickoff of round one of the QRL Host Plus Cup season 2024 about to get out of way here. But first of all, let's check out uh, the other bodyguard on uh, sideline right now. Steve Winnie, over to you. Uh, good afternoon, gentlemen and viewers. Welcome to the sideline. What a fantastic match we've got. Just to keep your measure and check of expectations, the two teams we've got out this afternoon, the sun, uh, bigger button, the winner Manly Seagulls finished fifth on the ladder in 2023. Hunters out of the top 10 finished 12th. And uh, in fact, the Seagulls were one step away from the grand final. They fell one short. But this year, they opened their campaign here at the Santos National Football Stadium in Port Mosby, looking to go all the way in 2024. And the record between the two sides, 14 matches. The Hunters are up eight to six. And as for the Seagulls on this very turf, it is only four wins in the history going back. So the Hunters with the work to do, a lot of expectations on both sides. Hunters hoping to start off the year with a clean record and then just carry on through to the season finals towards the end of the year. So uh, we've got crowd building and uh, definitely, although it's overcast in gloomy conditions, there will be fireworks when these two teams take to the field. Yeah, some very interesting stats there, Steve. Uh, uh, it was a, a good year for the Hunters last year, but uh, this year, obviously, with uh, the new look uh, side and a new coach as well, I'm sure they'll go miles. But uh, too early, still early days to say anything. But uh, yes, uh, not uh, a very good crowd here today, uh, Leon, but uh, I think it's just slowly building in. Uh, but yes, the two teams have done their warm ups and now back into the shed uh, for the. Uh, the official kickoff which will get underway very very shortly but uh here's where are we watching from around the country today yes we've got five matches being played across uh queensland and of course the big one is here the mighty spp and giantes outfit uh, also uh the first gig for new coach uh yes paul Ayton. yeah he's made a couple of uh, notable changes to to his team uh for various reasons but uh, a new center pairing coming in for the hunters through uh, Lama and Rotiga. That'll be interesting to see how he can uh, get them into the game, inject them into the game. Uh, both players have uh, very, very strong attacking capabilities and defensively they're very sound. Uh, it'll be interesting to see also some, some debutants uh, coming into this, this match, most notably uh, the young man from um, the Gurias, uh, Wayakoi. Yeah, the young Western Highland, huh? Uh, we'll talk more about uh, the team as soon as we come back from this short break.
Welcome back to the Santos National Football Stadium for round one of the QRL Host Plus Cup uh, season 2024. This is going to be a cracker of a match. We got uh, the visitors, the uh, winner Manly Seagulls, who brought in a, a pretty strong side. I've got a lot of uh, baby Broncos in their side, uh, which is going to be uh, a tough afternoon for the PNG Hunters who have a very uh, a mixed side, a youth and experience as well. But uh, uh, this is their home turf. I'm sure they, they really uh, get up uh, to match uh, the bigger opponent this afternoon as the two teams now uh, coming out to take their position on the paddock. Yeah, the winning Manly boys, they're coming off a good uh, couple of trial matches, most notably against the, the Broncos where they pushed them all the way to the end. And a couple of the, the players that are on feature this afternoon we're, we're playing in that game. As you see the team list for the SPPNG Hunters this afternoon at fullback Sunny Wabo on the wings Nima and Wane. In the centers is Lama and Rotinga. Halves pairing this afternoon is Komati and Lau. The prop forwards Valentine Richard and Sil Kalo at number nine Juru Rimbu. And the back rowers Wan and Tao Loy, Robert Matias and the captain Ila Alu. On the bench Solo, Pat, Bundy and Wayakoi. 19th man, or 18th man, sorry, Josh Mira, coached by Paul Ayton. For the winning Manly Seagulls, Sumusa, Hopuade, and Ruben on the wings. Uh, Hoyta and Broadhurst are in the centers. The halves pairing is Fold and Donovan. Donovan is the captain this afternoon and halfback. Starting props, Martin and Paige Wilson. Number nine, Corey Pakes, a big name in the Broncos, play here at the Santos National Football Stadium this afternoon. Stucky, Gale, and Sai Tower are the back row combination this afternoon for Winner Manley. And on the bench, Hetherington, Farmer, Cruz Ten, and Chong Ni, coached by Matthew Head. Should be an interesting afternoon of football here at the Santos National Football Stadium, Terry. Uh, welcome back everybody live here at the Santos National Football Stadium here we just uh, observe a minute silence uh, in honor of uh, uh, Vale Daryl Vandervelt a former QRL director who passed away early in the week he was a great player a coach and an administrator as well we're just about to get uh, the first game of run 2024 QRL season underway yeah, the wait is over. The 2024 Host Plus Cup season gets underway here at the Santos National Football Stadium. Here yeah, the SP PNG Anders, the new look side and the new coach for Leighton will have first use of the ball as uh, Callaghan now brings it up towards the 30 middle mark. The first carry of the match here for the Hunters, the captain courageous now coming back for another great season. Ila Alu now brings it up towards halfway five short here's Rimbu looking sharp as well coming back from uh, a great uh, precision with the Dolphins so he plays the ball now almost 10 inside of position half. a good set here so far as they're walking across the park towards the left side now they're going to play the ball 30 out 20 in from Tats nice run around there and walking the short side but uh, eventually the ball popped out so mistake at the end of the set the first set of the match for the hunters yeah unfortunately there Komati ran out of space on that sideline the, the idea was there he created the overlap but the winning manly uh, defensive line held their nerve and just caused that error from the hunters but a good set of six they got the rumble through the middle uh due to Rimbu looking sharp at dummy half so we got uh win now the first set of the match driven back there by the defense of the hunters so William now walking it through the middle as we mentioned they've got uh, a number of uh, big name players uh, from uh, the Broncos to uh, beef up their campaign this afternoon 
as they walk it up towards the 30 meter mark in midfield. A bit of uh, sunshine now coming up. We had a bit of drizzle earlier on this afternoon. Let's take some comment from Stevie on sideline. Yeah, it's very interesting. You've got a star started a very strong lineup uh, from the winner men and Seagulls. And I spoke to the team management just prior to kickoff, and they said they've got eight debutants in total that are out on the paddock uh, this morning. And they've enjoyed a good preseason, a good lead up, and so far they're really lapping up the hospitality of Port Moresby and Papua New Guinea. And they want to turn it on for fans of rugby league here. Uh, watching uh, the TV1 telecast as well as at the Santos National Football Stadium. Yeah, a bit of a shaky start coming from the winning boys. They've uh, struggled to make it out of their half and they come up with an error. So the Hunters will be in uh, good field territory here, but that's a, that's a credit to the Hunters' defense as well. They've really aimed up and put numbers in the tackle and traditionally we'll have, we have that breeze blowing across the, from, from from your right to the left uh, here at the Santos National Football Stadium, favoring Winner Manly this afternoon. It, it hasn't really picked up yet, but maybe towards the afternoon we can see that happening. Bit of a stoppage in play as uh, they've got uh, some stoppage to play at the moment. Looks like a blood bin. It's some good heavy contact coming defensively from the SPP and Giantes. They started well on the right side. So we're back with all the live action. And the best referee for this afternoon's uh, clash is uh, Jordan Morrell. So we've got the replacement now coming out, uh, Zach Hatherington, for the injured player. Yeah, Terry, the Hunters equally stacked on both sides, three players each way. Smack bang in the middle of the field as they come right. The settler now, a good first touch for uh, Rotinga. Rimbu skips one way, goes back the other. Good run by Valentine Richards. Ilaalu takes a settler straight to the middle. Hunters 20 meters out now. If they can put some points on, they'll uh, really get the crowd into this one, Terry. Wabo. Hunter's not really making any uh, forward progress. Judorimbu jumping out of dummy half. Fighting low. Cutting back on the inside. Meters short. Seal Wabo. Judorimbu. Komati. Lau. Throws a big dummy. Cuts back on the inside. He's well covered there by the winning manly defensive line. Short pass. Great tackle. The ball's been put down by the captain, Hila Alu, as Winner Manly survived that scare. Four minutes into the game, the Hunters right on top. A yeah, great set there, looking very promising, very threatening there, very close to the line, but just the last play there didn't come off. So, uh, Winner Manly off the hook, they will start uh the uh, the play now just turn out from their line with a scrum feet yeah that was a bit of a rocket pass it seemed like almost a cutout pass to the back line landed on the chest of villa it really should have been just a little pop-up pass so he can uh, take control of it and uh, threaten the line jonathan rubin now playing the ball as winning manly doing it tough hoita it's a good run but he's taken and he's uh, put away there in a great tackle Oh, Dominant one by Matthias. He's an inspired run coming now from the winner Manly players. Falls. Donovan. A lovely shift out here to the left edge. Broadhurst almost getting away. He'll be asked to play the ball five minutes shy. He's Hopawati. He's forced back. Last play coming here. Falls with the ball, puts up a good kick. He's got the breeze behind him this afternoon, Falls. Wabo takes it cleanly, gives it to Wane. Oh no, that's Brendan Nima, sorry. Nima now has to play the ball. 25 meters out of his uh, in goal area. Solo Wane comes in for a charge. Judo Rimbu. Lama. Hunters going through the motion here. They've 
really control the middle part of this game. Lamas are uh, slow to get up. Seeking some assistance. Some good confrontations there between the uh, winner Manly Seagulls and the SPP and Giantas. And I think the, the confrontation to Looks keep like an eye uh, out for uh, Jones be will be the... Uh, it's going to be the contest between uh, Broadhurst and Votinga. Votinga has uh, got the big call up coming up from the uh, Kimber Cutters last year. He had a scintillating year. One match I recall in the DGC Election Mobile Cup, he posted five tries the following with another, another two. So he certainly knows his way to the line. If he can produce some of that form in the uh, Colors for the Hunters, it's going to do his career no harm at all. So, Clint Lemma, one of the debutants in uh, this afternoon's uh, round one clash for the Hunters, now getting uh, some treatment. I think he's okay to go. There's a fiery start here this afternoon to open up season 2024 here at the Santos National Football Stadium. As we speak, there's uh, still uh, fans uh, slowly making their way through the gates. But the Hunters uh, have got a, a very good uh, mix of youth and experience in their side this afternoon. And of course, uh, this is the inaugural season for the new coach, uh, Paul Ayton. So here they are now, the Hunters making some good inroads into the opposition staff. And uh, this is uh, Wellen Tauloi. Had a breakout season last year for the Hunters. Seal Kalor getting through some traffic there, but uh, was the fifth and the last, was it? So they lost count there, the Hunters. So a chip and over 20 out from Winnie Manley's line. They play the ball now midfield. They've had last tackle option there from the Hunters. I think they just uh, lost their way. Really looking for the halves to take control there. But uh, he's a relieving penalty now. The, the winner Manly boys have been doing it a bit tough coming out from there. And I think adjusting to the weather conditions here as well. We had a bit of a little bit of showers just before hours before kickoff. And then uh, the sun's all of a sudden come out. So you, as you'd imagine, the humidity on the sideline uh, might uh, play, not might, it will play a part in this game. Yeah, that humidity is hovering around about the 80% uh, mark. Now so that it's pretty muggy down here on the sideline so i think the visitors from uh, the state of queensland will be you know some of them will be used to it some not so much but uh, yeah i think it's more the uh, trying to get to know what they're actually up against that's going to be the biggest challenge how hard will the hunters go today yeah, it also looks like there's been a positional uh, shift there on field by winnie manley with uh, corey pakes going into that halfback or that uh, the partnering house role with uh, kurt falls is Martin with a big run now. As Winnie Manley find their way into uh, uncharted territory this afternoon. First time uh, getting over halfway with ball in hand. Falls, lovely shot pass. Stucky. Stucky plays the ball 20 meters out on the last tackle. Falls comes down the short side, gives a beautiful ball to Broadhurst, but he'll be asked to play the ball. Yeah, that's well read by the SPP and Giantes. They really had to mark up nicely and see the uh, transitions and the switches of play because they're big numbers on the left, the Seagulls, and they uh, managed to diffuse uh, that uh, strong passage of play from the visitors. Rotinga now. Josh Lau. Uh, relieving penalty coming here as uh, Brendan Nima comes in to help out. Winning man, the players a little bit eager there, Terry. Both teams caught in a bit of an arm wrestle in this opening uh, 10 minutes of this fixture. Oh, uh, a bit of a wonky kick yeah, there from Kumati. The side of the right boot. Not getting much of that, but uh, the Hunters will start roughly about 21 meters out. Rotinga takes the tap and a uh, bit of a goose step. Takes it to the 30. Josh Lau. 
Richards now. Valentine Richards. This game could really open up for someone like Judah Rimbo this afternoon and even uh, with Solo coming off the bench. Yeah, I think they could really carve this uh, game up. Komatis, dummies inside. Yeah, there's a whole lot of pressure and expectation on the shoulders of Rimbo. If he can get that uh, pace off from dummy half, that's going to make really good inroads for the Hunters. Looks like they've got a good steady foundation now. They've just got to capitalize on that and get the goal forward to get across the chalk for the first time today. Yeah, I think Judah Rimbo's really got to pick his time as uh, Komati puts up a big kick here. Hopawari comes in and takes it comfortably. But it's also well managed there by Wellentown Loy and Co. Asked to play the ball just over the 10 meters. He's Broadhurst. He's been uh, strong in this opening 10, 10 odd minutes. Points are coming in to help out. Oh, that's Hopawari. That's just a silly penalty there from the Hunters. But great work by Hopawari. He saw that the, the markers went square and he picked out uh, Big Val there. Just the Hunters' uh, discipline is going to be a key this afternoon as, as you think when uh, fatigue sets in and the game opens up. Broadhurst now falls, finds Pakes. Lovely shift coming here from the winning Manly boys. Really stretching that Hunters' defense out. But well smothered there by uh, Komati and teammates. Short side again, Hoyta stops props, comes back in. Winning Manly boys playing hot potatoes with the footy this afternoon. Uh, you talk about that discipline and there's another example of lack of it there from the PNG Hunters. It's got Paul Aiton pacing up and down the sideline. Asking his boys, you've done all the good yards, you've got the territory, you get into position and you just need to finish it off. And they've now opened the doors for the winner, Manly Seagulls. Jack Martin. Winner Manly would love to po post some uh, points this afternoon. After holding their own. Oh, strong charge there by the fullback. To Mars. Falls goes short. Broadhurst is over. Easy. A passing game by uh, Falls. Lovely sleight of hands as he puts Broadhurst over for the first points this afternoon. Winner Manley surviving uh, de defensively and then coming down and putting points. This afternoon at the Santos National Football Stadium, they etch ahead. As you can see on the replay here, Falls. And Broadhurst linking up again. He had good shape out the back. Holding that defensive line, uh, Solo Wane coming in to tackle and Josh Lau. Not being able to make that one-on-one -on -one tackle against the bigger, uh, more favoured Broadhurst. And he does his job and scores a great try for winning Manly. Stevie D, how did you see that on the sideline? Well, what, what actually happened is I, I was hoping to see a really good contest between uh, Eliza Rotinga and Broadhurst. Broadhurst is doing exactly what Rotinga does best when he was playing at Digi Selection Mobile Cup. He runs at the gap, he finds the space, he's a big rangy character and he knows his way to the try line. What happened there, you find, in, you know, as I noticed in the replay, was the tackle made, the attempted tackle on Broadhurst was in fact made by the, the halfback for the hunter, so I think it's, it's probably getting a little bit lost. Uh, Rotinga, that, you, that just comes down to experience. He'll build as he goes. Yeah, successful attempt there by uh, Donovan as Winnie Manley raced out to four points to nil after 14 minutes in this round one fixture well surprise surprise from the sidelines it's uh, not the visitors but in fact the sp hunters that have got their bench up and pacing down the sideline first interchange taking the field right now and it's uh, cool runnings at the moment for the winning many seagulls they're comfortable they're happy with their lineup on the field and they want to get more of what we've just seen four pointers on the board 
He's uh, due to Rimbo now to get things back underway, but, but the Hunters, they haven't, they haven't been that bad. It's just uh, the winning Manly team, they're a quality outfit. As Rimbo gets the, gets played back underway. Martin now, finding a target as he runs into Rimbo. And Hilaalu, as they complete that tackle, Jordan Pat checks in for the afternoon. And another penalty coming here. Uh, it was a delayed one. They, they did call for the high shot on the first contact. Referee saying Hilaalu stayed too long in the tackle there. Okay. Just easy meters for the winning Manly boys. They're not doing it that tough this afternoon. The Hunters giving them easy field territory. As uh, Donovan finds the, finds the line about uh, five meters shy of the halfway. Again, the, the winning Manly playing expensive footy, shifting the ball out to Stucky. Stucky's lost the ball. Strong contact by, by Rotinga and well in Tauloi. Now that'll do him a world of good Rotinga. He just, you know, the only way to get back into this game is to stand on your own two feet and stand up to be counted amongst your teammates. He knows that everybody's got a job and it was his defensive laps that allowed that first try. So he's got his, uh, he's gone from uh, zero to hero, finding his way back into the game. He's hoping his teammates do likewise. The Hunters now in good field territory. Let's see if they can uh, make something out of this. Komati. Gives it off to Lama. Oh. Sorry, that wasn't Lama. That was Brandon Nima. He'll be disappointed with that with all his experience. Couldn't get up and play the ball properly. Yeah, Again, winner Manly. Let off the hook by the Hunters. This is the last thing you want to do when you're playing up, when you come up against the side of the caliber of the winner men and Seagulls. You just don't want to be giving them opportunities and the Hunters are literally shoveling them the territory and the position. And that's got to stop, otherwise they're going to be uh, a lot of green and white jerseys crossing over for four pointers this afternoon. He's brought Hurst, the try scorer. Driving the ball forward. Better marking there from Rotinga, four on four. Hapawadi coming in to help out now. Bit of a late call there coming in from the referee, but uh, that one's for a shot around the neck. Yeah, he had a Rotinga off balance. He was drifting left and the player cut back into his right. So he just reached out his uh, right forearm lazily and the contact was deemed a little too high. Broadhurst gives it off to Donahan. Winnie Manley playing the ball at halfway. Here's Martin with another charge. He's been strong in this opening stanza. Donovan. Oh, good line. Stucky. Paige Wilson. Corey Pakes. Hoyter. Well scuffed out there. That left edge has been strong defensively for the Hunters. Komati, good one on one tackle. Pikes. Lovely little chip grabber in. Looks like there's too much, and there is. Wabo now racing it out to the 20 meter line. This guy's electric. Here we go. There's open field, open territory in front of him. Broadhurst, good tackle, but a good run by Sonny Wabo. Oh, he's taken the ball 50 meters on the fly. That is exactly what the injection that the Hunters needed. They've got to stay on their feet, get so that ball it. moving. Josh Lau now going for a scoot out of dummy half. Hunters really picking from this. Seven tackles set for the Hunters. Jordan Pat tucks it under the wings and charges forward. Hunters 15 meters out. This is a great set of six for the Hunters. They go to the short side, Komati. Silly pass there. The ball's put to ground and Winnie Manley come up with it through Ruben. But there's a penalty. I think they were inside the 10, Winnie Manley were. 
Well, that passage of play in that set of six, easily the best of the afternoon so far from the Hunters, has brought the crowd to life here at the Santos National Football Stadium. This is what they've gone to love. They want more of it. Yes, TV, exactly. You know, the, the Hunters are losing a bit with uh, Moria and Moria still in rehab before he comes back into the team, but Sonny Wobble is also an electric uh, live wire character that, that can bring a lot into this team. So. The Hunters now with a great opportunity as Rimbu. Yeah, you're exactly Gives right. Gives it off to Seal Carlo. <clears throat> Beg your pardon? Hila Alu. He'll go close. He's over the line. Did he plant the ball down? Referee calling that he was held up. Right under the sticks there, Hila Alu. But a good defensive effort from uh, the winning Manly lads. How good was that? stack to the right. Inspirational they come run by Sonny Wabo. He just, he's just injected life back into the Hunters' outfit. Now they've got a sniff of it. Let's see if they can finish it off with the first four pointer. Well in Taloy. Well tackled there. Second man play Jordan Pat. Trying to twist out of that tackle. Judah Rimbu. Oh. Pass out to Brendan Nima. There was a hand uh, in there from that pass. That pass from Komati. Referee signaling that the Hunters will get the scrum. Yeah, you looked at that pass from uh, the Hunters, there was a hand interfering, just the ball changed trajectory and bounced uh, uncomfortably for them, they had to turn around and chase. But they've got another set up this if they do it all again, what they'd ideally like for Paul Ayton is to plant one down under the uprights, yeah. get that conversion through the sticks and hit the lead for the first time in the match. Set move. Right in the middle of the park, Sally Wobble, is he going to go all the way? He's held up a meter short of the line. Set restart coming here, barging over is Nima. No, that's Lama. Lama scores on debut. The referee points to the spot. The Hunters are back in this one. Much to the go. crowd's delight. Well, they've been waiting almost five months to get their favorite players back out on the paddock. Get them back in the groove. Yeah, it was a smart play there by the big center, Lama. Sunny Wawo had uh, done all the damage with that uh, run off the scrum base. And Lama barges his way over. A try on debut this afternoon. You can see on the replay there. Three winning many plays there, but to no avail as Lama plants the ball down. Try time, the Hunters on the board for 2024. as though uh, Komati is taking over the kicking duties. Yeah, that, that's, uh, that's always an area of great interest for any Papua New Guinean team, whether it's the Kumuls or the SPP and Giants. The kicking duty is ever so critical, and, you know, we've now become more wary of the value of points and every point that's, uh, you know, up there for the taking. And uh, let's see if we can... Uh, get up to the season on the right foot with his first attempt and that uh, I'm certain will set the tempo for the outcome for this afternoon for the PNG Hunters. Komati now lines this one up just over 10 meters from the touchline. It's on his favorite side. Kick comes in. Uh, the flag stay down. Four points all. 16 minutes left in this first half, but the Hunters strike right back through Clint Lemma. Yeah, you spoke earlier, Leon, about uh, 
the custodial position, the fullback, and how it's, it's, it's absolutely fantastic news that uh, we've got Moreira More that's now on the road to recovery. And, you know, he's getting, he's up and about, and the potential for him to get back onto the field. And uh, I think now that we've seen what Wabo can do, he's going to have to work for that spot to get back into the fray again. Jordan Pack with a big oh, run. Oh, what a hit! What a run! Good looking run, oh my goodness, 30 meters on the fly, what a rocket! There's a spring in the step, the Hunters now, just encroaching upon the halfway line, their side of the field. Well, and Talo takes it up over halfway, almost to the 40. Judah from dummy half finds Ilalu. He tucks the ball down, goes for a good run. Oh, he's got a good short post contact base, there from my, the captain. Oh. Yeah, with his little trajectory, it's really hard for the defense to stop Komati. him. They've got to really brace themselves. Wabo spins out of the tackle, gets the off right away. Nima's down the touchline, cuts back in. What yes, a great yes. score! The Hunters go bang, bang! Oh, they're turning it on. They've got the sniff now. The SPP and Giants, this crowd has come right into this. Wabo is on fire, hooking up left and right. The tries keep coming. They've snared two in a row, the Hunters. Yes, Stephen, you put that all down to that barnstorming run by Big Jordan Pat coming off the bench, making an impact, and then everybody rolling off the back of that. You find Sunny Waba out with the defensive line receding. He spins out of a tackle, as you'll see in the replay here. Komati hitting his fullback, spins out, pops a lovely offload, 20 meters out. Brendan Nima, good change of angle, didn't step much. This flick pass here, boom, oh, bit suspect, but uh, the referee was on the spot. <laughs> well, Brendan Nima. Yeah, he had a little bit of a blemish earlier on, but he's made amends for that Brendan Nima. He's lifting himself back into the game. That's a yeah, good he's sign. A, he, he's, a, he's a quality player, Brendan Nima. He's been around for a while as well. Played a lot of footy as well, so uh, he's lethal in that, in that part of the field. 20 meters out. Good finisher as well, Komati. Almost from uh, the identical position he, he attempted that first conversion moments ago. Yeah, you've touched on it quite rightly. So too, you know, there's a reason that individual players have been brought into the center squad and uh, what Paul Atten has done in his combinations is he's allowing the team to enable those individual players to do what they do best and that's what happened for Brendan Nima. That's what he's good at and he was allowed to perform to the best of his ability and that's what the, the Hunters are try. He's Kamati with the conversion attempt. A little bit closer in his second attempt. <laughs> well, I think the crowd says it all. Another one. Uh, just directed straight to the left-hand side of the upright, so unsuccessful with the boot. Will I don't change up? It's a big question. Who is going to be there to uh, step up to the tee and make sure the hunters get their points? Any ideas? Recommendations? Josh La takes it. Jordan Pat. Another big run coming here, bounces off one. His uh, countrymen return home, Cruz 10, checking in this afternoon for Winner Manly. Junior Rimbo, you know, Leo, penalty Leo, coming here to the Hunters. As the Hunters uh, take this penalty, Hand in the ruck. isn't it great to see the pathways of what the SP Hunters are all about, about giving players a springboard to go and uh, you know, extend the footballing skills to the next level in this you know in this instance the host plus cup we've lost a lot of hunters over the years to the uk to host plus cup and you know different leagues and that's what it's all about there's a pathway for them to follow cruise 10 is one of those examples now playing for the the winner men and seagulls and you want more players to get that kind of exposure to lift their game and of course come back home and uh, put it all into action for the png kumuls at the end of the day He's big Jordan Pat now. He's made an impact since coming off the bench. Judah Rimbu, Ilaalu. The Hunters making their way over the halfway mark. Komati, he goes short this time. Robert Matias. 
Just shy of the 30. Rimbu going down the short side. Komati holding the ball up in two hands. Gets it off to Wabo. Wabo now. Bit of a footwork there. As the Hunters find their way in the danger zone for the winning manly team again. Komati turning it back inside for Hila Alu. As he takes his settler, what sort of kick options do they have here? They go down the short side and find Komati. Deft little kick back on the inside. Wobble's going to score. Oh. Wobble's going to score. Couldn't have happened to a better guy. He's having a blinder. Finishes up by following that ball through. It was a set play. All for him. And he's got another four-pointer. A beautiful try set up there by the SPP and the Hunters. The juggernaut has got a roll on. Oh, that left edge is proving lethal for the Hunters. They're absolutely ripping up the Winnie Manly Seagulls. Komati, a deft little kick back on the inside. And it's all good fullbacks do, following the halves. Wabo getting himself a meat pie this afternoon. Absolutely no one there to cover for the Winnie Manly Seagulls. As you see Wabo on the spot just taking his time. Planting the ball down. Yeah, it was totally a great try to the Hunters. Yeah, it was totally who after that the, uh, the initial try play. from Winnie Manley have gone bang, bang, bang in three consecutive sets of six to lead now. 12 points to four with the kick to come. Yeah, it was totally against the floor of play. And, you know, when Sonny Wabo turned up in the end, he had time to look around, tie his shoelaces, just pull up his socks and then clamp that ball down. That's how it caught the, uh, that's how much it caught the Winnie Manley Seagulls off guard. Stevie D, it looks like uh, there's also been a change to the kicking duties this afternoon as uh, Clint Lama comes in to take this kick yeah. a little bit closer to yeah. the post as well. I think zero from two is, uh, you know, once a change to the kicking duties. And he's also missed, shanked it. <laughs> well, well. And could come back to bite them in the bum later, the Hunters. But uh, as we look at the replay now, Sonny Wabo, he's, he's electric, you know, he's, he came on uh, in his debut season for the Hunters and absolutely carved up. Uh, he was used as a utility player off the bench, bringing that energy off the bench, but this time around getting the starting spot at fullback, and he's done that in uh, Digital Cup as well, so he's a quality player to have in the team. Yeah, well, there's one, well, there's one quick fire solution to the kicking um dilemma that the hunters have we've got to start scoring yeah, tries boys, right uh, next to the uprights hey terry long time no see you welcome back I've been out. welcome back i've been enjoying what's um, transpired uh, so far here especially the hunters are uh, going uh, yeah crossing the line three times that is incredible especially uh, halfway through this uh, first half a very mixed heart for them a few uh misdemeanors but uh, now they've got uh, on the on the lane now as they work it up towards halfway Big uh, Richard now getting tackled. So he is removed from dummy half. It's been good so far this afternoon. Captain now healing up with loud. They're oh, working across the back neck. towards the grandstand side. And this is one of the debutants now getting smashed there in Rotinga. Plays it quickly. Lau puts in a kick, but straight down the red basket, as they say, as they're working across the park now. De Luis Hoita as he walks it back towards uh, the 30 meter mark in midfield. So uh, the visitors, the win, a winner mainly now, trying to twist some, the momentum around here. They've, they've conceded uh, three consecutive tries, if you like, in the last uh, 15 minutes. So it's been a, a good uh, period here for the Hunters. But now they've got the defender line as they Big work contact. it up now to halfway. Winner mainly. They've lost the ball. Rimbu, a oh, big no argue from Rimbu. I haven't seen that for a long time. But uh, Rimbu is down. Don't really tell what the Hunters have stepped up another gear yeah. as we work towards uh, half time this afternoon. Round one of the QRL Host Plus Cup season 2024 unfolding right before our very eyes here at the Santos National Football Stadium. Well, the crowd is absolutely loving how the Hunters yeah, have picked themselves up. Yeah, it's a bit of a pressure coming there from. Uh, Carry on, I think carry it's on. Hetherington in the, in the 13 jersey. Yeah, I think the, the Seagulls were a bit lucky not to be uh, reprimanded for that shot on Rotinga, but uh, the refs allowed it to go. And uh, yeah, the Hunters are 
the crowd just loving the way they brought themselves back into this match after having the first try posted against them. You know, they could have easily gone back into the show, but no. I think it's the, the coaching style of uh, Paul Hatton that's really starting to shine out now. 2024, the year that, you know, the team will display what the capabilities of Aiton are. And they're showing us that right now. This is a wonderful showcase. Rock Tinga now with a big charge. Taking, out, taking it up to the tent. Oh. Yeah, he's, he's, had a, he's had a slow start in his Hunter's career, Rotinga. Yeah, a bit of a mixed start there. Uh, just simply uh, making a meal of that one. As they were just about to launch another attacking raid into enemy territory this afternoon. Rotinga, one of the debutants, was the 2023 Center of the Year from the Kimber Cutters. Yeah, you know, what, what I recall yeah. about the Digital Next One World Cup 2023 for Rotinga is it's total contrast to what he's doing today. Today he's taking on the line. In the Exxon, Digital Exxon Mobile Cup, what he does is he positions himself very well in attack and runs at the spaces, and that's where his tries came from last year. They've got to allow him to do that today. When he's a ball carrier uh, in the middle of the tackle count, it doesn't work out well for him. Cruz 10 now. Cruz 10's got a good offload on him as well. Donovan. Switcheroo in there for uh, Stucky. No, sorry, Paige Wilson as he's... Uh, Rolled over to his back. Corey Pikes goes back into the halves. Strong charge here. Yeah, yeah nice roll here Stucky. by the winner man as they walk the short side. Nice little gamble through. Jason coming through and it's Ruben. And pops the ball back on uh, the outside. But I think it's been intercepted here by the Hunters. But there's going to be a no call according to the match referee. And it's going to be against the Hunters, so Winner Manley will have another chance here. About 10 out from the Hunters line. Yeah, as uh, Leon mentioned earlier, this uh, humidity is starting to take its toll on the Winner Manley Seagulls. You see a lot of hands on hips, they're sucking in the big breaths as plays brought uh, towards the sticks for the restart. Yeah, I didn't think there was a knock on. He, he had his back uh, turned and he dropped the ball towards his own goal line. That should be a knock back anyway. The referee of the days made his call. Winnie Manley now in a great opportunity. Uh, 10 meters out, center field scrum. Pakes, falls, dummies, goes himself. The offload's there. Momentum's carried, up, carried him over the line. Moving. I think the referee's going to point to the spot here. Uh, Winnie Manley back right back in this one. Yeah, that was a close one, as Stevie. Yeah, How right. do you see that from, well, uh, from the sideline? Well, the line and come out on top and score. But uh, I think the, the critical factor there was that he wasn't held and he's, you know, allowed free movement in which he was able to uh, eventually bridge the line of the Hunters and get the second uh, try for the day for the winning Manly Seagulls. Yeah, okay, Hunters will be disappointed with that one. As you can see, Fall shows the dummy. There's no communication from uh, Wallace Talwa and Josh Lau. And I think that uh, effort from uh, Josh Lau also helped him over the line. Momentum carrying falls over for the Winnipeg Seagulls. Donovan now lines this kick up to make it a two-point ball game. At the moment, Hunters out by four points. This is on his favorite side as well, so uh, kicker of his caliber, you'd expect him to plot this over with ease. Uh, strikes it, strikes it well, straight over the black dot. Flags are up, win a many, race out the 10 points. Hunters on 12. Again on replay here. Good effort there by Falls as he scores that try. Actually, Falls. Sorry, that's Donovan that scores the try. And he converts his own try. So we're back Judah on the Rimbu. halfway now for the restart. Judah Rimbu. He's had a, a good game so far today. His uh, kickoff taken now. Yeah, Ruben now. And then he gives it back to his 
partner in crime in uh, Cruz Channel Wait. brings it out of the red zone as they're walking across the park. Martin keeping the ball alive. Oh, that drops was it a mistake. Behind. Lock forward. Eventually clean up there by Rotinga. As he'll take the tackle now just in front of the upright. 20 out. So the Hunters straight back on the attack here. This is Waya Koi. The young kid from the Western Highlands, uh, Simple Parentage. He's making his debut this afternoon from the Bats in 17. So the Hunters now 10 away from the line from right in front. Rimbu. They're working across the puck. Looks like this is a forward. And it looks like it's, a forward. it's a forward pass. Oh, you picked that one early, Terry. Good eye. Good from eye. Joshua Lau to Martin. Uh, it's Robert. It's Robert Manius. I think it was just a friction uh, in front. But the referee was on the spot. Unfortunate day for the Hunters. Good man, man to survive that scare. He's Hopawari. He's been good this afternoon. Made a couple of strong charges coming out of his danger zone. A whole party, a very famous name, uh, the son of NRL, uh, well, bad boy back in the day, John Hopoate. But anyway, penalty has gone in the way of uh, William Manley, 20 out. To Donovan, Donovan now, to, uh, touch. Keep the foot on the pedal here. Oh, don't touch it. There's about four seconds left in this game. Two-point field goal maybe coming up here for William Manley. Last play of the first half. Big spread coming out here. Pass going to ground. Hopper, what it now? Is he? Just takes it into contact. And the referee says that'll be the first half, Terry. Yeah, very, very interesting first half. Both teams started off uh, on fire. A number of uh, very fundamental errors. A uh, bit of nerves, I guess. But uh, anyway, they're both... Uh, Eventually got into the groove and the Hunters, wow, three in a row in a space of what, 15 minutes, but then uh, towards uh, the back end of the half, uh, they allowed the visitors back with uh, a nice individual brilliant there from, uh, here's the number seven in uh, Bryce uh, Donovan, just forcing his way over, beating some flimsy defense to put the score at 10 points to 12 with the Hunters in front at half time.
Welcome back to the Santos National Football Stadium. Half time round one in this fixture between Winner Manly Seagulls and the SVPAG Hunters. The crowd finding some shade. It's a bit of a warm day, but uh, here are some first half highlights. Winner Manly scoring first through Broadhurst. Lovely little short side play there. And then the Hunters bouncing right back through Lama scoring a try on debut and in this one probably the, the try of the match so far Brendan Nima skipping away avoiding would-be tacklers he scores a great try as the hunters go bang bang and then the hunters go bang again as Wobble scores a try of his own after a deft little kick in the in behind there from uh, Komati the 5'8 the hunters unable to convert their tries but uh, here's one from uh, Donovan sliding over the line and scoring a try just off the base of the scrum there Donovan he's been strong this afternoon one from two in conversions as well hence the score at 10 for Winnie Manley the hunters a try apiece to Nima Lama and Wabo Broadhurst a try and Donovan a try conversions Komati none from two Lama none from one and Donovan one from two Winnie Manley two points behind the hunters it's been a good first half so far We're going to go for a break, but we'll be back with more action. Stay with us. I can't hear Stevie or Terry. Now to me can hear him. I got to talk to him. Me now to me can hear me. Before me, I pass. I yell pass. No, no, you are me. Me hear him himself now. Now me, you, you can hear him. You are me. Me hear him you now. Okay. Now me can hear him Terry. The plan is to make the match kilo. That's that's more something now. Now me can hear him you, mate. I didn't have you in the first half. I couldn't, we couldn't hear you guys. Terry. Okay, all right. That's your volume in this room. Stevie is out. I'm mean, not stop. Steve's uh, gone for a walk. Hello. Maybe to get some uh, halftime scoop number. Hi. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Akot, you talk up. Now we can arm you. We, we didn't we didn't get our cues from you in the first half. Nothing. I'm Leon now. Yo.
Welcome back to the Santos National Football Stadium. A bit of halftime entertainment there coming from uh, in-house uh, singers. 12 points to 10. The Hunters leading Winner Manly here at Santos National Football Stadium. Some uh, highlights, some good lines there being run by Stucky. Uh, wobble. This was, I think, one of the momentum changes in the game. A quick tap, seven tackle set coming to the Hunters as uh, they rolled off the back of that and piled on three quick tries. Jordan Pat, he's been a revelation off yeah, the bench. It's, it's good to see this big fellow back. He, uh, he was in the Hunters uh, system back in 2018, 2019, I think, under Mike Smarrow, but uh, now he's made a big comeback and a big impact in the game as well in the first half. Yeah, it's been a bit of a journey, man. He's, he's gone back and uh, hurt his stripes again at the Digital Cup, uh, leading the Gurias, the mighty Raval Gurias, around the park. Uh, being that enforcer, that role model to the younger younger lads, and he's found his way back into the Hunters jersey. And it's good to see. You know, sometimes uh, players, they just need that. They need to go away for a bit and work on their craft and then come back into it. The crowd settling back in. Uh, you can see everyone's anticipating a big game this afternoon. Happy to see the Hunters, the Hunters players even having family and friends coming in, especially the debutants who would be excited to, to, uh, to watch them go this afternoon. In the first half, uh, the weather conditions were, were quite muggy, as uh, Stevie D alluded to a couple of times. What was that? Quite muggy. <laughs> I think uh, it's, a, it's a term, maybe, maybe it's an old term you boys use for humidity. Yeah, I'm not, not sure. old school, in old school, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, but uh, what a second half uh, looming here this afternoon. Uh, yeah, the Hunters uh, have got some issues with their kicking. Uh, they missed uh, three conversions. Uh, the Seagulls uh, well, just shot uh, by two points. They're turning uh, at halftime by yeah. two points there. But uh, Yeah, Terry, that could really come back and uh, haunt them. Because um, that's six points, effectively. And those kicks weren't... Uh, all the way from the sideline, so that's something that uh, maybe Paul Lathan can address. If they get the chance, they, they, they'll need to make use of all the opportunities, because one thing about the winning Manly team is, once they adjust to this uh, Port Mosby conditions, and you can find it, you know, maybe in the second half, and when they get that momentum rolling through the middle, the big boppers really taking over that advantage line, they could really uh, tear the Hunters uh, to shreds through the middle. But at the moment, I'm loving the energy from the Hunters. They've, 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 there's no, no real big name or star players out there like the Moria Moria's um, to really carve this game open. But the energy in defense, that's probably been the biggest thing. No one player really stood out for me in the, in the first half from the Hunters. But I love the energy, Terry. Yeah, definitely. I think it's the energy and the intent uh, that they have against his uh, start, start inside this afternoon. So here's a kickoff from the boot of uh, Judah Rimbu. Oh! Of all the players out there, Jonathan Rubin has coughed up uh, the football there. And that is uh, a shocking start here for the visitors, giving possession away. Inside the red zone, so the Hunters, uh, can they make the most of this one? Yeah, the referee uh, ruling that uh, he dropped it in goal. So there's going to be a line dropout coming here. A uh, recent time, the, the short restart's been featured prominently. And here we go again. Tapped it back. Ah, oh, nice. Picked up there from Rotinga. Just plucked it out of the air. Now the like Hunters. a Hosey rules player. So the he plays the ball now. Five away from the line. The Hunters straight back on the attack from that uh, winning manly mistake on kickoff as Jordan Pett now works his way forward. Got four defenders to contend with him as he is has to play the ball now. Five away from the line. Another big run here from the 16. Corso Bunny. Playing his second season and the Hunters are in first half, second half. And finally, the William Manly Seagulls have paid the price, conceding a try. Referee points to the sports. That's why Akoi is scoring on debut as well. He'd love that. Uh, the young man, barnstorming, he, he, 
he featured for the Gurias as well last year in the Digital Cup. And it looks like he's uh, trimmed down a little bit coming through this Hunters program. And he'd absolutely cherish this moment here, scoring a try on debut for the Hunters at the Santos National Football Stadium. Yeah, he's really worked uh, his, his heart away during the preseason. Uh, uh, coming from the Gurias, uh, he was with the, the Vipers uh, 2022, but he switched to the Gurias last year, and I think that really set uh, the benchmark for him. And now uh, he's uh, scoring his first time debut for the Hunters. And we got Lama now to, to line up this one from right in front. He missed his last kick. So I think they're still trialing out uh, the players out there, the kickers. I think Grotting has uh, got a bit of uh, kicking talent in him as well. Yep, yep, he kicked a bit for uh, the cutters. But uh, Lama now, this one, if he misses, uh, it's going to be a real headache for Paul Layton to look for who's next up. But he lines this one up now. Takes his time. Strikes it well, and uh, you could hear the you could hear the crowd almost willing that one over, <laughs> tell him to just just give it enough to get over the post, and he does that. The Hunters race out, 18 points to 10 lead over Winnie Manly. Stevie D on the touchline. Uh, a few of the technical gremlins have crept in the, to the sideline, boys. But uh, what a good passage of play there from the PNG Hunters. And we've got a conversion under our belt, so they've got to keep that formula going, score next to the uprights and keep going. At the moment, uh, co-commentators are a bit distant and I can hit the control room. If we can fix that up, I think we'll be happy people by the time we hit full time. And we're back underway here. This big Jordan pad now, he winds up 20 out from his own line. So the Hunters now on the front foot for the moment as they work it back now towards open territory. They just need to use those big bodies through the middle to try and set the platform for their speedy back line this afternoon. As they work it back now towards centre field. It's uh, 18 points to 10 the scoreline. The Hunters in front as we head into the uh, 35th minute of uh, the second half. Uh, oh, great run there from Rimbu. Plays the ball back on halfway. They're looking for options. They're working across the park now. Lau shows the ball and then a big fan and then gets the ball away to the outside man in Solo Wane did very well to stay in the field of play on the last tackle of the Hunters. What's the option now? They work it back towards center field. Oh, big collision there. And it's the fifth and the last. Welcome to Interest Super Cup. Oh, big the shot. The Ghost Plus Cup, I should say. Yeah, big bopper there. Yeah, no. Uh, Cooper Page, Wilson, take your hat off, mate. You, you absolutely put the body on the line for winning Manly there. To stop that charge from Wyakoi, who was uh, rampaging onto that ball. Unfortunately, it's the fifth tackle, so they have to give the ball back. But the uh, winning Manly, slow start to the second half, Terry. Yeah, definitely. And I'm sure uh, they're just warming into the second half here. But the momentum is very much with the Hunters at the moment. Here they are now. Winham as they work it back towards the center field, just walking through the middle. So 15 away now from uh, halfway. And a penalty. This should help. Hunt has been penalized. So Wyndham now will find touch. From about uh, 35 out from the online. Perfect weather conditions this afternoon. A, a bit of a drizzle earlier on. Uh, but uh, now it's clearing up. There's the, uh, the uh, kick for the touch now taken. So Wyndham now will start. The new set about five inside hunters off. Hetherington. He's uh, been a bit of a utility this afternoon. He's popped up here and there, but William Manley have a great opportunity here to strike right back after that quick try to the hunters. And they've got a pretty uh, formidable uh, forward pack there. There's a Cooper Page Wilson now, confronted there by three defenders. Put on a broad of his back, 15 away from the line. So they're playing a bit of pressure here on the Hunters' defense. They're walking across the park now. Great well, run from the touch there, Brandon. 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 Having a bit to say there to uh, young Clint Lama. Not happy with something there, Luke Gale. Oh, 
Yeah, he's just not happy that uh, he felt like he stayed in the, in the, the, the tackle was complete in the, in the field of play, but there was still momentum in the tackle. And the referee ruled rightly there. Oh, a bit of a hut and mouth stuff there from Masolo Wane, juggling the ball before taking contact. So here's a set for the Hunters as they work it out of their red zone. Judah Rimble's been good for, for the Hunters without being outstanding, but uh, you've got uh, Trevor Solo. They're in, uh, on the bench. He hasn't checked in yet. Ace up the sleeve for uh, Aiton. Oh, he's a good run from Lama. Ball being knocked down. It's play on here. John Ruben. A penalty against uh, Widham here. A light shot, I think. To Hunter's player down in back play. So the, here's the replay. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Kamari on the receiving end there. Rib, rib, uh, checking his ribs there. I think he was his uh, countryman too. In cruise 10. There it is. Boom. Right in oh, there. Oh, yeah. Uh, he could be in some trouble here, cruise 10. Tackling Komati on uh, suspicion. And there, Chris Tan is as earned 10 in the bin this afternoon. <laughs> After all that, all puns intended. <laughs> Uh, Terry, as he as you said, as his name uh, is spelt, standing over Komati, they, you can't do that. No late shots allowed in the game anymore. Komati is still getting some attention. Uh, maybe he just absolutely got the wind knocked out of him. He's coming back to his uh, senses now, I guess. But the Hunters getting uh, easy meters out there. And, and uh, I was going to say... Uh, Lama, Clint Lama, really coming into his own in the in this second half, making a big tackle there on uh, Gale, and then uh, that run, almost leading to uh, something for the Hunters. Yeah, been very impressed with uh, Young uh, Wei Koi as well since coming off the bench, made some uh, some good runs as well. Yeah, hundred percent. Sco they scored a try. Yeah, 100%. Uh, a couple of debutants uh, scoring, yep. scoring on, on debut. Is Joshua Lana with a touch fighter. So Let's here they the come face. again, the Hunters setting up another raid from halfway. They shifted quickly back towards center field, finding uh, Corso Bundy. Put a, on the board of his back there, right in midfield, about 32 out now from the winner manly line. Here's Coy. He winds up still going. Quick play, the ball is required as they work it back now towards uh, the left side as they're cruising very close to win a minute try line here. And this is going to be a try. There it is. That's incredible. Oh, you're going to love it. That one two punch off the bench. Jordan Pat and Wyakoy absolutely ripping the winning Manly uh, Seagulls to shreds in the second half. Stevie D. Jordan Pat's been on fire since the first whistle this afternoon and he has not let his foot up off the gas. He's just been leading the troops from the front, putting his body on the line, showing them the way to get across and it's just been inspirational for the SP and Hunters this afternoon and they're reaping the just deserved points as a result. Fantastic work. Yeah, it's fantastic to see a couple of big boppers getting points, are getting tries this afternoon. And there's really nothing in it. There was like four players there from Winner Manly, five players. But it's all will and determination here from Jordan Pratt. Judah Rimble helping the referee see where the ball was planted on the, in the end goal. We can see on the replay here. Boom, there it is. Try time. Big Jordan Pratt made a big impact off the bench in that first half. A big barnstorming run. And then off the back of that, the Hunter scoring their first try and now getting one of his own. Yeah, that's experience. He's been there, done that, and he's doing it again this afternoon. Big Jordan Pat. 
Kilamanau lining up from right in front has kicked uh, one from two attempts so far today moves in strikes it and the flags are up too easy hunters racing away 22 points to 10 soon to be 24 points to 10. it's absolutely fantastic the way the hunters have uh Opened up the second half campaign pretty much similar to where they opened up uh, the opening stanza. They've just been on the front foot and haven't eased up on the gas. And uh, I think Paul Atten will be a very happy man right now. Yeah, it's not, not good signs for Winnie Manley as well. You can see the body language there. They're a little bit slouched uh, heading back to the restart. But uh, Tumusa gets us back underway. Lau gives it to Big Pat as he charges into the line. Good post-contact meters as well. Another five odd meters after that initial contact. Judah Rimbu in it into dummy half. Skips away, goes down the short side. Matias being brought into play now. Oh, sorry, there's Solo One. Eh? Here he goes again. Big uh, Waya Koi takes a bit of stopping this young fella. A set restart there. Rimbu commanded the two. Oh, what a run! Through. There's support so, on the inside. No. He's hit the give no. in the pass. Oh, and no, there's support on the outside. They keep it alive. What a try! Wow! That's Hunter's goal. Oh, he almost stuffed it up, Komadi. <laughs> he almost stuffed it up. <laughs> it was there for the taking, and they took it with both arms. Not the conventional way. But he's got the job done. Yeah, hundred percent right there. He could have owed. He could have owed a lot of, a lot of stuff to uh, um, the hunters player that was looming up on the inside. I think he was uh, solo one solo that was one, back, backing right. up on the inside. He would have been under the post. But uh, at the end of the day, the hunters score. The crowd's happy. As you see on the replay here again, Komati showing it inside. Goes into a yawning gap. Had one oh. inside. Oh, look at one. One was. What are you doing? Not happy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that wasn't Bonnie. That was uh, Matthias. Yeah, I guess uh, you could call it uh, white line fever. Yeah, That's nice the work there by Brandon Lama. Yeah, good presence of mind to just tip the ball back on the inside, and Lama gets uh, another try this afternoon. Yeah, it's second of the afternoon. But to what great play there by the PNG Anders today. Very much to the role of the crowd today. Uh, not a bad crowd. Uh, good turnout here. First uh, home game for the PNG boys. They're away next week against the Capras. And then uh, they're back here the following week for their second home game, which will be against uh, the Sunny Falcons. Coast, yeah, Sunny Coast Falcons. Top tier stuff. Yeah, I think the Winnie Manly boys have, have a bit of soul searching here because it could could turn ugly. Uh, it it kind of already has. They, they've got to dig deep here, the, the Winnie Manly guys, as Lama now converts his own try. And all of a sudden, he's found his uh, kicking boot as well. But the winning, back to the Winnie Manly boys, they, they've just got to stiffen up that middle part of the defense. Jordan Pats are absolutely ripping them up. And looks like he's coming from the field now. As... Uh, Sil Carlos checking back in. Sil Carlos got off to a good start too, so that's a good, uh, very intelligent substitution there for Paul Eisen. Both players, uh, they seem to be wanting to outdo each other in how many run yards you can get and how hard you can tackle. It's absolutely brilliant. Yeah, clever kick there coming from Donahue uh, at the at the restart, getting the ball back for winning Manly. Much needed, Terry. Yeah, nice tactic there. The Pikes got the ball back here for his team as they work it back now. Just walking through the corridor at the moment. So 20 out now from the Hunters line. Looking for points here. Still got 25 minutes left in this second half. Winning Manly now 10 away from the line. Quick play the ball. They go back towards the short side. Donovan shot ball away. Finding a big uh, Cooper Page Wilson. But good defensive effort there from the Hunters. This is the last coming up. Still 10 out. Working through the hands. A Hail Mary pass and gone into touch. Unfortunately, that's the end of the set. So a chance gone begging here for Winnie Manley. Hunters uh, will get the ball 10 out from their own line. 
but good defensive resolve there from the Hunters. They held their line well, forcing the mistake. Yeah, Trevor Saul chugging in for his first taste of action this afternoon for the SPPNG Hunters. As uh, Judah Rimbu gets a well deserved break. The wooden men in Seagulls, they seem to be more potent and more dangerous in the go forward. When you give the ball to Donovan at halfback, he's a very uh, slippery character and he's always got options on his hands. But that time they set him to the left and the play went out to the right hand side and they didn't uh, get the desired results. And we've got a special visitor here this afternoon. Oh, it's Paw Patrol at the, at the NFS. <laughs> Streaker. Somebody tackle. Where's the security? Well, you need to have a few black swans hovering around there shortly. <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, guys. Yeah. Just, just passing through. And that's the end of that. Now back to footy action. Is uh, I think it's Nima, is it? Getting ready to restart play there for the Hunters. Boso Bari trying to make up for lost time uh, last season. He had a bit of uh, injury that kept him away from the game, but now he's looking fit and raring to go in season 2024. Bari Koso, Koso Bari, he's going for another run. As he walks it up towards halfway here for the Hunters. Good set here so far. Solo comes back to Lao. Goes to the air. Good take there by Tullius Hoida. But uh, good defense as well there from the Hunters. But uh, it's going to be a penalty going in the way of Wynnum on halfway. Yeah, it looks like uh, the Hunters were a bit too eager there and uh, jumped the gun. Being in front of the kicker but uh, if this is a tale of what happened in the first half when the hunters gave the ball to win a manly they scored so this will be an interesting uh, defensive set um, for oh this will be an interesting defensive set for the hunters they've, they've really got to muscle up here and keep winning manly out but on that note with uh, just over 20 minutes to play winning manly can really turn this game on its head with a quick try here Hetherington now gets up to play. Coming back now towards uh, the open side of the defense. Up very quickly there from the Hunters. Oh, good hands. Working across towards uh, right hand side. Hoyt now confronted there by the defense. Also a voluntary tackle there. He's banked down 20 away from the line. Short ball away now finding uh, the 15 in Darius Farmer as he works it up towards uh, the 10 meter mark right in midfield they come back towards uh, the right hand side good hands here oh ruben just missed that one he's a machine jonathan ruben so an opportunity gone there for winner manly yeah it's unfortunate for ruben he's got a lot of pace to burn but he's just he just can't he just doesn't have his game hands on today it's the second time down the right hand edge where that is actually showing the winning men in Seagulls that corridor. There's about very compressed defense, and they, they give about 15, 20 meters open for the Seagulls, but they just uh, can't make it happen today. The winning men get the ball back, though, uh, through a penalty. Yeah, discipline being, discipline being a, a factor here now for the Hunters. They've really got to muscle up here and, and do it the right way. The referee giving away a uh, couple of quick penalties to winning men as a farmer tries to barge his way over the line Corey Pakes jumps into dummy half short pass here oh, great defense there from the hunters looks like and there's a the mistake as well. well wow nothing quite going the way of the winner many seagulls this afternoon they just tried the direct approach they've gone blend boys and out to the edges and still no success so no joy for the team in green and white this afternoon at the Santos National Football Stadium. Yeah, great shot, shot uh, pass there. And that looks like that's uh, Sai Toa, who's checked in for Winnie Manley. Yeah, great. Good defensive effort yeah, from the Hunters. Uh, Koso Bandi. 
So uh, Hunters back in position here, 10 out from their own line. Kambadia now puts the ball into the tunnel. They switch back towards the left side. So uh, Brendan Nima now just settling things. 20 out from his own line, 15 in from Tarts, Grandstand side. Solo at dummy half. And then he fight. Oh, no. Ball pops out. So here's a mistake from Lama. So with a middle now, with another chance. 20 out from the Hunters line. They still got 20 minutes left. The score remains Hunters on 30, Seagulls on 10. Yeah, I think it's uh, humidity and fatigue playing its part in this match. Both teams coming up with uh, handling errors, but also good, uh, strong contact, forcing the ball out there. The Pike now finds a pass out to Donovan. Short ball, finding Farmer. Spins around. It was uh, Hetherington, actually. They keep it going now. They come back now towards uh, the midfield region. Here's Chris Tanner, served his 10. Now he's back on the paddock in the 16. Still going. Eventually brought down by the defense. And it's, oh, he's earned a penalty for his team. So, uh, penalty going in the way of Winner Manley. 10 out from the Hunters line. Can they cash in on this one? Uh, solid carry there as they work it back now to Farmer. Held up, still going. Eventually brought down just... Uh, Minutes away from the line, plays the ball quickly, Pikes, the long pass, fighting uh, to Musa, kicks through, came off the Hunters. So they got the ball back, Hopuate brings it back now towards centre field. So he submits to the tackle, 20 out now. Another set here for the visitors. Cruz 10 now, hitting the line hard, he's held up, 10 away from the line. Pikes comes back now towards the right hand side. Inside ball. Finding a lock forward in uh, Loloa. Saitua is just five short of the line and he's messed it up with the penalty. Hand in the right. Yeah, the match referee explaining to Komati there that there was a hand in the ruck. Pikes gives it off to Farmer. He's been busy in this spell. Farmer is a big unit and they need to uh, make use of him and then get that Siggy pass away. I think that Cruz 10 would be running on his fringe, would be a, a big uh, headache for the Hunters. Try time here for Winnie Manley as uh, Stucky crashes over the line with a lovely little depth pass from Donovan. And it's just sustained pressure coming here from William Manley. The Hunters not helping themselves with that error as well. Yeah, it's nice try there to Churchill is stuck. He's a, he's a big unit and, uh, you know, running up against uh, the size of uh, Joshua Lau. A mismatch yep, there. Yep. Well played. Lovely shot pass there. One on one, you can just see that. Stucky, too big, too strong. He drives his way over the line. Donovan, he's had a mixed uh, afternoon with the with the boot as well. But you back him to get this one. Also on his preferred side. Strikes it well. The flags are up. William yes. Manley, 16 points. SPPNG Hunters, 13. 16 minutes left to play. Yeah, anything can happen. 16 minutes in the modern day is big time. Yeah, that's right, Terry. Stranger things have happened. But also around uh, Queensland uh, this weekend, we've got five matches uh, on the card to kick off round one. And next week, uh, as we mentioned, the Hunters are going away to uh, Gladstone in Rocky to take on the cameras. Interestingly, uh, they gave them a, a good try match. Uh, 
before the season uh, opener about three weeks three weeks ago but uh, here they are now the hunters to restart play so it now takes it over the 20 meter mark to start off the set here for winning manly 25 hard coming back now finding that man western highlander still going very hard to put down eventually brought down there by his uh, own countryman in uh, way koi his big farmer is a big unit as uh, alluded to by stevie taking some players with him quick play the ball here's pikes very dangerous out of dummy half and he's earned the penalty so a bit of uh, ill discipline now creeping into the hunters game and koi has been placed on report Disappoint. Disappoint. The boys. Yeah, I think Koi was lucky there that uh, Pikes was falling away and he had limited contact to the head, still had contact to the head, hence the penalty. But um, had he connected a, a, a bit stronger, he, he might have been in a bit more trouble. But he's Broadhurst. He's been quiet in the second half. So another opportunity on offer here for Wynnum Manley. Working it back inside ball there, finding Big Farmer. Brought down by uh, Solu. They go long. Keep it going. Good hands here from uh, Winnie Manley. Oita gets the ball away. Now they're angling back in field towards uh, the try line. But again, the defense uh, holding there from uh, the Hunters. They shoot back towards uh, the left side. And uh, looks like uh, Stark has gone over for his second try. Back to back tries, actually. Yeah, that all came off the back of those uh, penalties and, and that, that uh, short-ish kick restart from the Hunters. And, and, and with about 13 minutes left to play, Winner Man is right back in this contest. If you get into the replay, you're going to start to notice that a lot of the Hunters are starting to fall off tackles and what's, what's created this is the... Very acute angles in which the uh, seagulls are stepping in back towards the post. Defenders falling off tackles. They maintain the momentum, the seagulls, and that's uh, created the way for the, the last couple of tries. So, yeah, they're doing it the hard way, but they're getting there. Could this be the start of a miracle return into this match? Anyone's guess. Here we go, kick to come. Donovan. Sweet strike of the ball. Donovan raises the flags for Wynnum Manley. 30 points to 22 all of a sudden. That 20 point lead's been cut down to eight. The SPPNG Hunters being asked to do a lot of defending as of late. That's Rotinga again, just rushing out, trying to do it all by himself. And really this was the run that set it all up. Pikes again, looking out, and look at that sitting back on their line the hunters you're not gonna you're not gonna stop him by sitting on your line and a great try there try number two for Stucky. Yeah, it's a real test of composure now for the SPP and Jankers. again with all those new faces can they hold up in the pressure cooker as the screws get tightened by the uh wound manly seagulls so when him now back on the attack for that kick off Tan has been very busy. Oh, the ball pops out. What's the call from the referee? No call. Good, so good shot defense. there by Robert Matthews. There was good contact, brilliant contact. This may swing the swing the pendulum back in the favor of the Hunters. Yeah, Kange versus Kange, eh? Yeah. Nothing quite like it, eh? <laughs> so here's a chance now for the Hunters to get some momentum back. 25 away from the winning manly line. Ball comes out. Kamate, he links up with uh, the danger man, the X Factor. Wabo gets away from one eventually. They regroup and put him away. 15 away now from uh, the line. They work it across the park now. Kamate, he links up with big uh, Waya Koi again. Russian defense here from uh, the visitors. Stopped him 10 away from the line. They continue to work it towards that. Uh, right hand side short ball away rotinga brought down 
just short of the line. Plays the ball quickly. They come back now towards open territory. Here's Lau, the show and go. And then he finds, uh, I think it's a bandy. Brought down short of the line. Here's his keeper now. Puts his hand up. But again, the defense able to hold him out. Here's the last. The Hunters, what's the option here? Tolu with dummy half. The long pass. Lau, Kamati, short ball. And then he finds Matthias. Wow. And Lama gets uh, uh, his third. How did he get that pass away going to deck in one motion? Incredible stuff from the PNG Hunters. Yeah, the two debutants there combining Matthias and Lama. You couldn't ask for a better, better day move from uh, Clint Lama. Patrick, first hit up in the, the Hunters' colors. The Hunters are over. I think that would be the nail in the coffin, lads. I'm calling it now. The Hunters are home. This is out of the blocks early, Liam. Out of the still. blocks early, Leon. With about nine minutes left to play, I think the Hunters have got this one in the bag. Well, the body language of the Hunters right now would indicate uh, you're going down the right, the right path. But you can never discard a team that finishes in the top five of the Host Plus Cup to not stage something special and make a comeback. They uh, put on a couple of tries back to back and it's a good response and a timely response by the SP PNG Hunters to show that they're still in this match and they still want the points to walk away with a victory. Yeah, rookie, uh, rookie, rookie, rookie season, a rookie coach for, yeah, Paul Leighton is certainly loving this one from the band this afternoon. His first uh, gig and uh, looking like uh, he's got this in the bag with uh, eight minutes remaining. Trevor Solo now, he's uh, taking over the kicking duties coming off the bench. Goes through the motions. Gets a sweet purchase on that kick and the flags are up. The Hunters, 36 points over Winter Manly, 22. And on the replay again, just a sweeping backline play coming out towards the left edge. Matthias getting the ball away to Lama for his third try this afternoon. Patrick on debut. Memorable one for Lama this afternoon. Yeah, what a great play there from Matthias. It was just a miracle pass. I don't know how he got it away. It still has me baffled. Short kick option restart for the... When the Manly Seagulls not paying off this time. The yeah, kickoff has gone wrong there. So what's the call from the referee? What's, is it penalty? Oh. No penalty, but the yeah. change over. Uh, there's been a change in the rules. Uh, gone are the days when uh, short restarts get you a penalty. Well, failed short restarts get you a penalty. Now it's a uh, restart play the ball from the 40. So here the Hunters are now. Just shy of halfway, Hila Alu will take it over, oh, and some. The contact! Solo Dummies skips back in through the markers. This is a good run. Gets up to the 30. Wabo goes into dummy half, links up with Alu. Short pass! Bundy gets it off to Lau! Gets it back, the balls! They still play on here. Wabo, death little kick in behind! Solo one in. Did he get a touch to it? No, I, I think Hopewati is. Uh, came off the uh, Winnie Manly Seagulls, you're right. They just restarted desperation, otherwise, the Hunters were in again. I wonder, what, what, what was that, the last? Was, was that the last, uh, last tackle? No, I think it was the third. Oh. I don't but, know, but uh, anyway. They saw something on there. Yeah, a bit they, of they were going expensive for the, footy, the if you like, from the but uh, yes, they got the second best result. Ooh. Oh, he was almost tackled in flight. Yeah, that lucky was a got risky away play. with that. That was risky. So here they come now. Here's Tao Loy. Very close. There's some real desperate defense there from uh, William Manley. Now they're walking across the park. Here's Lau. It's been good this afternoon. They're going to come back. They've got to still come the same way. they got numbers oh, here. Oh, no. I think he's just went off the mark there. Referee already called Harold. 
So Lau now will be asked to play the ball solo from dummy half. The show and go. But well read there by the defense of Winnie Melly. Five minutes to go. The Hunters looking to stretch their lead here. Oh, incorrect play the ball. End of the story. White line fever there to the Hunters. And Winnie Manley survived that scare. They'll, they'll, they'll take that any day of the week. Can Winnie Manley find something here? Five minutes left in this contest. You know, as you go through the processes, I think the Winnie Manley Seagulls, they almost had it uh, down pat. They wanted to get points on the board, they did that. They wanted to make the scoreboard respectable, they did that. Put themselves into a position where they could have actually clawed right back into this match and had a shot at it. But then it was just the... Uh, the resilience of the uh, SPP Giants that sort of snuffed that out, but they've got to dig deep once again, uh, the Seagulls, to see if they can uh, bust the Hunters' line and make something happen. How quiet they plays the ball, they shifted quickly back towards the middle, and uh, further back towards the grandstand side, back on the inside, Ruben, look at him go, he's a machine, but he's got uh, defenders in front of him, the chase for the ball, and Wabo! Just in the nick of time to save the day, but what a play here from uh, Ruben. Ruben. Jonathan Wabo. Ruben, former North Devils. He's a machine. He's a flyer, isn't he? It's really good to see him strut his stuff. Finally, it's taken you know most of the match to see him given space and some leeway and latitude to really turn on the afterburners. He did that and he almost came up with a four point himself, but for the desperation and cover defense for Wabo. Man, he's in the thick of everything this afternoon. And you love to see that he trusted his, uh, the man outside him in, in, in the big uh, lock forward. And he showed a bit of toe and got the ball back on the inside. Ruben following up on the inside as well. Great play there. Unfortunately, they didn't get the points, but the second best result, a line dropout coming their way. So we've still got uh, four and a half left on the clock. The score remains uh, 36 points to 22. Hunters in front. Win him now. Back with the football. He's Big Martin checking back into the game. So he's brought down 30 away. They come back now towards the right hand side, just uh, spinning out of uh, would be tacklers. They eventually they go at him again and put him down. 25 away now from the line, from right in front. They're not going to die wondering here. The visitors are oh, good tackle. Joshua Lau. Comes off with a belter, bell ringer. Uh, he had to mark his opposite number, the Benjamin Donovan. He did exactly that, and that's uh, that could be it, folks. That could be it. Great effort by Lau and Donovan. Yeah, Waikoi checking out of the game as Jordan Pat comes in to finish off this last three odd minutes left in this game. But yeah, jammed in perfectly there. Not quite uh, the perfect tackling technique, but uh, enough in there to cause that error from Donovan. Now feeds the scrum now, Komati. Short ball on to Nima. Komati appealing for a penalty there, claiming that there was a high tackle in there. And then Nima slowly playing the ball. He's Valentine Richards now. Keeps the leg driving as he drives it up almost to the halfway. Footy boots come flying off. Solu, Alu takes it into contact. Josh Lau. Well in Tauloi. The Hunters, maybe they can give the fans what they want and score a final try here. Lau gets it out to Alu. Second man play well read. Komati stops it, but he tosses the ball up as Lama grabs it, but the referee calls it back. Knock on coming here from the Hunters. Scrum to Winner Manly. Yeah, what, what do you think of the, uh, the new spine uh, this afternoon uh, with uh, Rimbu, Lau, and uh, yeah, Komati? I think Komati is, is a new blinder as well this afternoon. Uh, it's a rare mistake there. I think they're getting low. I really think they got something that they can build off here, the Hunters. They've, they they need to get a couple more games under the belt this this spine, um, and then pending uh, Moria Moria's injection back into the team when when he's good and ready. Oh. Rottinger, no one at home. 
just a simple pick up and go but he drops his lollies so he's had a shocking start to his debut this afternoon uh, young rotinga oh no i think they ruled the tackle that when the tackle was made they they hit the ball out of the hand so constituted a knock on against the hunters so no advantage play there oh was it winner manly winner manly well, yeah it should be there you go all righty but yeah the hunters they they've, they've got they've got the players to do it it's just uh gelling together oh look at this winning his way through and they're racing away broadhurst, broadhurst. somehow the hunters able to track him down wabo finishing off uh, put the ball here they to finish it off strongly here winning manly pikes, pikes across the oh, work at donovan oh. good hands ah oh. joshua stucky getting smashed there by the defense inside the 10 penalty coming here to win a manly can win a manly finish off with some points here the ball comes away to martin he offloads grab a kick put in Komati's going to run this into the dead ball zone, and I think that'll be the game. Bola. 15 Bola. seconds left, countdown now. Bola. Good first hit out for the Hunters in round one against Winnie Manley at home. And if they keep winning like this at home, it could really become a fortress. It's a tough place for visiting teams to come up and play, Terry. Yes, and there you go. It's full time and the Hunters have come out victorious this afternoon against the winner Manly, 36 points to 22. Oh, what a game, but second half for the PNG Hunters. Well, congratulations, first of all, to rookie coach uh, Paul Ayton, picking up his first win of the season. Yeah, over 58 points scored in this match. You'll have to see that. The crowd getting value for for their for their money coming out to support the hunters and also winning manly 36 points to 22 the hunters over winning manly you have any standout performances this afternoon terry well i thought that lama i think he had a blind he scored a hat trick today and also from the bands uh uh way akoy and uh koso bari but uh also, uh, the return of uh, Jordan Pat is injected into the team. Uh, has really, uh, I think, set the platform for for the team going forward uh, when he came on from the bench first half. But uh, yes, uh, I think the forwards really laid the foundation here, and also uh, the number one in uh, is uh, young uh, Sunny Wabo still going around. We're going to go for a break, but we'll be back to wrap things up. Stay with us. What's his name? Boys, if you, if you look at me, I can't hear you guys. I can't get my cue, so cue the, the cameraman. Look him, lol. Look, look, lol next to him. Uh, what are the captain's names? The captain's names are Hila Alu for the Hunters yep. and Bryce Donovan, the number seven Bryce blow Donovan, on him. Thank you. Bryce Donovan uh, is coming to you first. right now. Yep. How long to go? I'll, I'll switch this on now. Huh? Uh, we'll let you know. I can't. <laughs> we can't, too, we can't hear much. the communication That's breakdown here. Hi, Com hi. Comes breakdown. Bryce Donovan, hi Bryce, sorry, I'm Steve. Hi, Bryce. How are you? Very We're good. We've got about two minutes. Yeah, no, all right. All good. Have you been up to PNG before? Yeah, I've been here since 2019. 2019. Yeah. War Memorial. That's awesome. That's awesome. Oh, 
two cameras. See how I'm gonna manage this. Wireless, wireless test, one, two, three, wireless test. Back check, back check for wireless, wireless. Which mic is this for the ground mic? Alright, 60 seconds. Stand by. Back check, back check for wireless. Wireless mic, wireless mic. So I'll hold this one. Oh, I yes. had a stint with him two years ago. Stand by. Bryce Donovan, the skipper for the uh, Winter Manly Seagulls. Uh, it's always tough. To start off the season on a road trip, how do you find your outing out there today? Um, yeah, it was a, it was a tough road trip, but we knew that coming over. I mean, BG is tough uh, at home or away, really, so we knew it was going to be tough. Um, we knew it was going to be hot, but unfortunately, we played the game when we wanted to. The Hunters, they couldn't have a game plan. You've been up, you're no stranger to PNG, you've been here before. Uh, the Hunters, uh, they've been off the boil for a couple of years, but they've still got it within them. Do you think they'll be. Uh, Better equipped for 2024 in the Q Cup? Yeah, they will 100%. Like, even when they weren't, get, they weren't getting the results last few years, you know, they're always still very tough. They never give up. So, um, but they're always just going to improve it. You know, everyone goes through the same period. I think they'll be long. Okay. You guys finished in the top five last year. What are your aspirations for the coming uh, 12 months? Um, the end goal is to win, to win the grand final. That's our, that's our goal. Um, but yeah, we've got to get in the top four, hopefully around there, but yeah, we're trying to win. You got off to a good start, didn't quite get it at the end, but uh, it's certainly tough going when you've got eight debutants under your wing. Yeah, but basically the team is here. Um, but yeah, we start, started okay, but just too much drop balls and the penalty. That's the most way to put him in one year. Things can only get better. Wish you guys the best of uh, luck for 2024 for the Winner Manny Seagulls. Thanks for your time. Thanks very much, and thanks for having us, mate. Made a trip out of here. Very enjoyable. Thank you. Number one, thank you, Drew. Gary? Yeah, Brian Donovan, captain of the Winter Manly Seagulls. Uh, yeah, crafty playmaker. Uh, had, a, had a good game uh, this afternoon. Unfortunately, this, uh, the, uh, the score line uh, uh, couldn't favor them. Uh, the Hunters were too strong in the end, coming out uh, victorious. But uh, next up, uh, Stevie might have uh, another interview. Oh, hang on, what's happening down there? Yeah, we're, we're supposed looking, to have the hunters, the, the hunters. The hunters' skipper is just walking across casually, <laughs> Ila Alu. So we'll have that uh, for you very, very shortly. But uh, yeah, what a what an afternoon it's been here for uh, the fans who've come out here to witness uh, uh, the Pinch Boys go around for the first time in 2024. As we cross now back to Stevie on sideline. Yeah, we're still uh, on the hunt. Terry, uh, there's a very casual captain for the hunters meandering around the field this afternoon. But we've got a special guest with us this afternoon. Let's have a chat. Yeah, Phil, how's it going? Yeah, very well. Um, uh, good, good to be back, mate. Good afternoon, our three season. Got a week off, mate. You got off to a good start, you had the first points and then the Hunters bounced back. It was still even Stevens half time. What did the coach say to you, to the boys before you ran out in the second half? Well, just to start fast, how we tried to the start of the game. And, um, and the back end of the half there, we've got to stick a bit with our, our drop. Cut that out, play a bit more direct. Um, that impacted the second half. There was too big a bit of a You guys looked really well oiled uh, in, in the first term. 
Where did you feel it sort of started, the, the wheel started to come off? Um, oh, probably when we started dropping the ball, we had a long time in Japan. Um, and we were just letting our hands go. Yeah, we're, we're, we started, I didn't know, I might as well just come back. Back when we started dropping the ball. Back to the drawing board now, but you've got a good uh, crop of youngsters and hopefully they uh, keep the momentum going from your fifth place finish last year into uh, this year. Yeah, I think so. That's a good thing about it being the one I'm not going to get it. Address it if you go, flush it and um, come back. <laughs> flush it and carry on. Yeah. I just going to try to stink a bit, but yeah. Thanks for your time and uh, thanks for and holding up uh, hey. up uh, name most of us up very well here in the chain so yeah that money there oh that was cut two I, I think uh, but anyway he's got uh Ila Alu now the uh, hunters keeper Standing by. At the moment, uh, slow start for the blocks, but the boys really held the ground and uh, it's a great start. Uh, Paul Lighton's first match and you come away with a win. Going forward throughout the season, it's just one game of many that is to come, and we just have to build from this and um, see what we can do going forward. The Seagulls had eight people on debut here for yourself. Uh, you're slowly well, getting through the combinations. When you come well, up away with a score like this, as a skipper, that must make you very proud that the combinations are working early. Yes, um, you know, the debutants, uh, we knew what they would be bringing, and, and that's what they did today. Um, you know, one of the debutants had three tries, um, shows the talent that, they, uh, that he has and the depth that he can bring for our sides. Um, but yeah, look, um, it's early days, we just have to um, get as much as we can out from this game and um, work on fixing what's, need, what's needed to be fixed and um, yeah, build on from that. But okay. um, yeah, I couldn't be more proud of um, the start that we wanted. Next week you're away, your first trip away for the year against the Capras. Uh, how do you hope the boys will do? Can they carry on two in a row? Ah uh, yes, um, we had a trial match up against them and uh, maybe we could review, sit back and review and see how they went throughout this week um, and then we could build from there. But uh, yeah, look, um, we had a start that we always wanted and that's the uh, standard, that we, that's the line that we could build up from here on. Not big numbers, but you had quite support today. No doubt there's a big uh, Papua New Guinea community down there in North Queensland that will be out to support you. Uh, Looking forward to seeing the red, black, and gold colours play uh, in North Queensland. Yes, uh, but I appreciate everyone coming out today. Um, you know, they show so much they love watching the club, uh, watching the Hunters play. So, um, but yeah, away against Rocky, they have some few Papua New Guineans there also that um, I know will be leading from the front for them. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of crowd down there in Queensland that they follow us, and Rockhampton will be none different. So. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your time this afternoon. Um, it seems today your forwards really stood up to be counted and really laid a solid platform. Do you want to see the backs taking more of that responsibility or are you going to continue with this formula? Um, look, we just have to play our part. Everyone else, um, everyone has a, has a role to do and that's all that we asked to do. So um, a full credit to everyone. Um, you know, as you, the forwards were a standout today, but it's something that we've discussed in order for our backs to shine, we have to lay the, uh, lay the platform for them. So I'm going to be more proud. And like I said, um, we just have to build on from here. Well, you've got a happy coach, you've got a happy crowd. Skipper Ilalu, congratulations. Well done with your first win. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah, Hila Alu there, the winning captain this afternoon for the SPPNG Hunters. As he uh, alluded to earlier, still lots to work on for the for the Hunters. They've, they've uh, done a good start here. A good win. And uh, Terry, what did you make of that performance? Hang on, I think we're... <laughs> Uh, Stevie, Stevie Lee is, oh, is, Stevie is on with, step uh, again. Paul Ayton, yeah. Thank yep. you very much, uh, Leon and Terry. Paul Ayton, your first uh, cap as a coach this afternoon. It was a bit of a workout in the office, but uh, a great way to start the season. Most definitely. It's always good, uh, great to get the two points. Um, made it a little bit harder for ourselves, but 
But the boys gave the effort and you can see it today. You got four debutants on the field today and as I spoke to uh, Ila Alu, I said, you know, he must give you a bit of confidence as a coach to see those combinations working so early. Oh, most definitely. And the, the good thing is they're only going to get better. So it was their first game and uh, they, they didn't look out of place. So I was, I was really proud of all the boys, but especially the uh, debutants because their first game. So, yeah, very happy. As, as a player for the Kumuls, uh, you read the game very well. Your leadership was very direct. It's showing with the boys this afternoon. Whatever the Seagulls threw at you, they went out wide, they tried direct to coach. You had them covered. Oh, most definitely. I think, um, as, as we say, the Hunters, defence is effort. Defence is effort and uh, it's all we did all game. Just showed up for each other and did a lot of effort. So. Are you prepared to pick any standouts for the Hunters this afternoon? Uh, there's a there's a couple there's a couple of standouts. Obviously, Clint scored I think three tries in that that one. Uh, he was a de debutant, but I think Wallenthal Loy. I was very um, very impressed with his effort. He, every game he gives his best, and uh, I was really pleased with him. Next week you're away. Uh, you don't have the home crowd up there in uh, Rocky, but yeah. you do have a big Binnie community. So you're counting on them to turn out in force. Oh, most definitely. All the all the Papua New Guineans up at uh, Rocky, please show up for us and support us like you have been every week, uh, every every time we play up there. So. Any final words to say to the uh, winner men Seagulls? It's always tough. Road trip, your first match, they're away. They acquitted themselves well, but they just didn't have to go on. The Hunters uh, really stood confidently uh, this afternoon. Yeah, no. Um, yeah, I mean, there's always got to be a winner and a loser, and uh, this one was us, so um, but don't really have much to say to them. Wish them all the best for the season, and see them next time. Final question. Did the amount of points you racked up this afternoon surprise you? Um, uh, it was good, it's good, but uh, probably could have been a few more if we, we got those kicks, nailed those kicks. So definitely something we're working on and we're going to obviously work on a lot more on that. Onward and upwards, SPP and Giants 2024. Onwards and upwards. Thanks for your time, well done coach. Thank you very much, thanks for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all together. Thank you. There they go. Very proud uh, P and Giants uh, coach. He is uh, picking up his first win uh, on his debut season, uh, Paul Ayton, and uh, ah, what a character he is. Uh, he's, he's been with the Kumuls, uh, you know, he's represented uh, the country on many, many occasions. Uh, he's got the NRL and uh, also Super League experience uh, under his belt as well, so it's really rubbing off on, on these guys. And well done to the, the, the four debutants today, uh, uh, Clint Lama, Eliza Rotinga, um, Robert Matthews and uh, Waya Koi, uh, they, I think they've passed the audition so in, in flying colors of course and uh, you know uh, you know he spoke uh, I think he made mention also of uh, uh, young Tao Loy who made his debut last year he's, he's been solid uh, uh, last year and I think uh, his first game today also very solid very very uh, energetic, out, energetic out there uh, uh, especially with his runs and, uh, and his defense as well but uh, he has a uh, it was an, an all-round uh, effort here for, for the PNG boys as we check out some of the highlights of that second half. Yeah, he's a, a first try there to Waikoi and then um, his uh, prop counterpart that came off the bench and absolutely ripped in was Jordan Pat. So well done once again to the SP PNG Hunters winners today. The Hunters racing away and this one's uh, Komati showing the ball and just exposing. I think that was when Cruz 10 was in the bin. 10 was in the bin for 10, almost bombing it, but uh, Brendan Nima passing it back in. Clint Lama scoring his second, almost with the English Kawana walk towards the end there after scoring the try, much to the crowd's delight. And Winnie Manley striking right back through uh, Stuckey, Josh Stuckey, getting the, the first of his two tries this afternoon. And then he, uh, he was there on the spot again, I think, in this one. The ball being worked back. And then from here, Pike's just picking him out and the Hunter sitting back on the defensive line here. As Taki scored his, scored his uh, second try. Great work there from uh, the winning Manly team to fight back into this one, but then this was the icing on the cake. Uh, three tries for Lama this afternoon, but uh, deft little pass there from Komati, putting Matias into a gap and a lovely offload in contact for Lama to score as the Hunters run away 34 points to 22 this afternoon at the Santos National Football Stadium. Lama three tries, Nima one, Wabo one, Koi one, Pat one and in conversions, Komati none from two, Lama three from four, Solo one from one.
And for winner Manley, Broadhurst scoring, scoring himself one, Donovan scoring one, and Stucky getting two tries. Donovan, three four, from four with the conversions this afternoon. 36 points to 22. SPPNG Hunters, too big, too strong, beating Winner Manley. That's all the time we have this afternoon. Thank you so much for being with us, and we'll see you next time for more uh, rugby league action from the Santos National Football Stadium. Have a good afternoon.